Hey, I'm Tom Gozi. This week on Hot and Cold, we want to take a look at a problem we're having living on the coast of Maine. And the problem living on the coast of Maine is a lot of times you get what we call wind-driven rain. That's rain that almost comes in horizontally when we have a good storm. Not talking about hurricanes. I don't even want to think about hurricanes, but just a good rainy storm with some wind. Wind tends to come in horizontally. And here we have a vinyl replacement window. This is a little bit older, uh, but we've had leakage issues with it. We've had water actually coming in. We, that's one of the reasons we did the window sills because we had water coming in, but it was still coming in. It, this didn't deal with the water, it just made it look pretty. So what we did to try to solve the issue, and I think it's going to work, is we put a good old fashioned triple, trap, triple track storm window, say it three times fast, and uh, this will shed the water, keep it away from the house. It's sealed on the two sides and the top, but it's open at the bottom and it's got weep holes here. So you can see there's some condensation here. And if this condensation drips down, it goes through two weep holes here. There's two weep holes down at the bottom as well. So any moisture that's intercepted uh, will find its way out and keep it away from the house, which is very important for the durability and longevity of your home. The other thing though is, remember I said this window, the inside window leak? Here's a visual demonstration of it leaking. All this condensation here on the window that I'm messing up with my fingers is on the inside of the storm window. And what that is, is warm, moist air from the room has found its way out through this original window. And whether this was a newer window or an older window, regardless, it's a leaky window. We knew that because it was leaking rain in. It was also leaking heated air out of the house. The heated air is hitting this cold storm window and making condensation. So we know the storm window is working when we have condensation on it. It isn't pretty because you can't see through it if it's frozen or it's kind of messy like I just did, but we know it's doing its job. So for 60 bucks, I think that's what the cost of the storm window was. I think we have solved the moisture penetration issue where rain gets into the house and rots your house away. This happens a lot, especially on the coast, and that's why we use storm windows. Anyway, you see stuff like this all the time in Hot and Cold right here on ABC 7, 11.30 on Sunday morning, Fox 22, 8.30 Sunday morning, and 5 o'clock in the afternoon. Don't miss it.